Hi, I'm Kim Stroud and I'm the director of the Ojai Raptor Center. And what we do at the Raptor Center is take in injured and orphaned wildlife. We are licensed by State Fish and Game and Federal Fish and Wildlife in order to do that. You must carry state and federal permits in order to care for wildlife. We take in about 1,300 animals a year, ranging from songbirds up to the raptors. Though we take in all wildlife, we don't necessarily rehabilitate all the wildlife. We network with other centers in order to, that specialize in things like deer, coyote, fox, skunk, raccoons, and squirrels. We pretty much just stick with avian species and possums. We do quite a few possums. Uh, because we live in a very populated area, we get lots of orphans in um, that fall out of trees, especially now it's springtime. And because when you find a baby bird, it's not always necessary to pick them up and rescue them. You want to take a look and see if the parents are around, if you can re-nest them safely. Uh, the, it is not true that if you touch a baby bird, the parents won't take care of it. They do not have a sense of smell. So if you can safely reunite them in the tree or create a new nest site in the tree close to the parents, they'll continue to feed the babies. And that's best for everybody concerned. Of course, now we live in a, in a community and in a situation where there's kids, dogs, cats, cars, and people. So it's not always safe for them to be on the ground. But if you can return them instead of bringing them in, that's the best thing. We are building out a new rehabilitation facility that will consolidate all of our locations, which are now spread out in Ventura County on private satellites, into one facility. Uh, we will have the largest flight cage in California, which will be 260 feet long, shaped in an L. And so we're leasing three acres here in Ojai to build that site out right now. We are an all-volunteer organization, so we count on volunteers to help us uh, get the work done. And I work a full-time job as well as do this full-time, so there's lots of needs out there. Um, not only the hands-on rehabilitation part of what we do, but we also have a full education program with non-releasable birds of prey like Kira here, who go out and educate the community on what to do if you find an animal, a little bit about their conservation and habitat, how to protect them, what the different species needs are, and how we can interrelate to them in our urban wildlife situation now. Kira is an imprint. She came to us two years ago in Ventura County. She landed on somebody's shoulder. A person had raised her when she was a baby and fed her the right diet, which is also sometimes a problem, and then turned her loose. And what happens with an imprinted animal, if you hand feed a baby and they're imprinting on they should be imprinting on their parent, their siblings, and their nest environment. If it's a person, they think they're a person and they can never really go into the wild. So it is our most preventable injury. Uh, so we really, really, really need people to turn over birds when they find them and not try and hand raise them. Wildlife is completely different than hand raising a parrot, say. Uh, we want them to be wild. We want them released back into the wild. And we have a 60% release rate with these animals. And that's pretty high because of the amount of babies we get in. We take in orphans um, and injured wildlife from as far south as um, South LA up into San Luis Obispo, out to Castaic Shelter, uh, Burbank, Pasadena, and even Edwards Air Force Base. We work with a lot of agencies in order to protect the birds. Southern California Edison has been a great partner. We take birds that come into their substations or if they have to remove something from a tower that is causing a power outage, you know, situations like that, we uh, will take the animals and raise them and release them back out. So volunteering is critical. There's many, many tasks to be done. We have needs from simply mailing uh, letters out to, you know, what we mostly do is scrub cages 90% of the time. Clean, clean, clean. Um, the birds eat a lot and they go to the bathroom a lot. Uh, so there's always something to do here at the center. We are nonprofit, so we have um, community service hours available for people who need to sign off on community service hours. There's a lot of construction going on at the new center, and we can, we will always take volunteers. Other ways to help, you can check our website at ohiraptorcenter.org. We have a fundraiser coming up on May 9th, so tickets are for sale on that site here now. And whatever you can do to help would be much appreciated.